as of late, people are realizing that soils and sediments actually contain a fair amount of energy. And the energy that you find is tied up as organic matter. So soils and sediments, wastewater, right? The things that, that you may throw out of your kitchen as food scraps or, or the tremendous amount of organic rich waste that comes out of an industry. You know, we would just dump that somewhere and, and ignore it. And now we're beginning to realize that we can harness energy from it. To that end, we've been looking a lot at these microbial fuel cells, which are devices that harness energy from the naturally occurring cycles that take place in soils. The basic premise is that you have microbes that live in soils and sediments, and, and they eat the organic matter in the soil, and to generate energy from that, they have to move electrons off of that through their biochemical pathways and stick those electrons onto something. By using a microbial fuel cell that you would put into the soil, you can do things like turn this landscape light on. So what you see here is our landscape light being powered by energy that we harness from microbes, which you could have in your home, in your backyard, or we could use these to illuminate parks and public spaces. And our hope is that we'll be able to find ways to use microbial fuel cells to power uh, maybe outdoor landscape lighting, or even bring lights to rural or remote regions of the U.S., and of course, to help those people in the developing world improve their quality of life.